it's your girl, Cyclonic Wolfos, in the We're howling back at you with another episode of our Pokemon XD Gales of Darkness. We're getting really close to the end of the game. We grinded up our team, so I can give you a little team recap real quick. We got Blitz up to level 44. It's still known in the flesh. Fire Flames are a faint attack, bite, and roar. We also got our Turbo up to level 45. Attack, defense, uh, that. I always. I never realized you were adamant. That's why you're doing so much with bite. That makes a lot more sense. Thunderbolt, bite, thunder wave, and that. You're a dust style, that's why. Right. We got our Dust Cloud Strip to level 46. Look at them stats. Them bulk. And Shadow Punch, Shadow Ball, help me in pursuit. And. We got Goomba up level, hasty nature, with the uh, effects for the basic clear whole team, so I found a thing. Here you go. Thank you for that host, Jimmy. Appreciate you. We gave it the King's Rock to boost it up instead of the Miracle Seed. You got the Twisted Spoon on our Gardevoir. It's a brave nature. So yeah. Not the greatest, but hey. And then Larry! Finally evolved into a Walrein with the Mystic Water. And... I wonder why Larry does so much with that thing, so. Ice Beam, Water Pulse, by Iceland. We really didn't change the movesets much, but hey. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take down this Salomon Sky, gonna capture his shadows, and prevail. We need to re-catch the Manetric, because, yeah, apparently when you catch the Pokemon, it doesn't count. That's what you want to accept your challenge. Expect no mercy. But yeah, if we uh, you don't have to re-catch it that if you lose, so. Sucks. But we're gonna beat him this time. That's what he starts with, Ninjask. That's what I thought. All right, we saved before this fight, so we wanted to make sure. I'm gonna pair the bug, and I wish I could pair the Manetric, but hey, can't paralyze a Thunder type unless you body slam it. So we're gonna start off right away biting the Manetric. And we're gonna T-wave the bug. We learned from last time, you expletive. Oh yeah, it's lightning rods. It doesn't work that way. I guess you can paralyze- Oh yeah, Gen 3 can still paralyze him. Nice. I forgot about that. Alright, the Ninjask is annoying though. I use Dig. I use Dig. That's a bad start, by the way. Not a good start. I'm gonna bite the Manetric again, and we're gonna try to like, Ultra Ball it already. Why? Because I can! I can, can. I mean, we caught it last time, but, yeah. I don't know why my voice decided to crack right then and there, but hey. We're gonna get drilled by that dig, so. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Whatever's getting hit by that dig's gonna hurt, though. There's the Salamence we were worried about. This is what kicked our can last time. Who's taking a dig? Ow. Blitz takes that pretty well, actually. Blitz is gonna bite, though. So we're gonna get a bite off on the Salamence right away. That's nice. Nice. Ninjask gonna take a hit here. And Ninjask is fast because of the speed boost. So he's probably gonna use dig again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bite the Salamence, and we're gonna T-wave the Salamence. Okay, let's use Dig again. Alright, cool. Cool. We know he has a Flygon. Ow! It still kills. I raised your levels up from level 40, and you still die. Alright, Larry, get in here. I'm gonna need you for the flag on anyway, so. Alright. Alright. 
it's underground and it's getting speed boosted. Alright, I'm gonna switch you out. No. Switch you out. And I'm bringing in Rip, because it's bulky. And then we're gonna body slam the Salamence. That way we can do some more damage to the Salamence and not lose Blitz to a dig. So, yeah, you probably used it on Blitz, knowing you. No, you used it on Larry. Okay! I don't know why you did that, but whatever. Let's get a pair on the Salamence. Do it! Get the pair of hacks, pair of hacks, pair of hacks, pair of hacks. Yes! And I'm gonna use this opportunity to revive Turbo because I'm gonna need it for the other Shadow Mons he just got. Because I know he has another one. I know he has another one. Oh. Alright, so. Rip. You're gonna help and he end this opportunity. I'm gonna use revive at this opportunity. He pushed the wrong button. Okay. Let's revive turbo. Let's make uh, Larry a little bit more bulky. Using protect, that's perfectly fine with me. Alright, now I can't switch out, that's fine. I prefer that, actually. I honestly prefer that to him attacking. Also, I'm being smart about it. I know the ninjas can't really do much to me. So, let's pursuit the Salamence and chuck a ball at it. Yeah, there's no way he doesn't have another Shadow Mom in this team. I know Flygon is one of his mons, so that would be four of his mons. So I'm guessing he has at least one or two more Shadow Mons and such. Oh, we caught the Salamence, no problem this time. So what's he gonna send in? Is he gonna be a Flygon or another? Okay, there's the Flygon. Boom, boom, Aerial Ace. Who are you hitting? Hacks! Me hacking? Bruh. No. 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 I had enough difficulty with it last time, Kong. Alright. We're gonna kill the Flygon! We don't have to worry about that ninja -esque. I'm just being smart about it. Hmm. Let's Shadow Ball the Flygon and Water Pulse the Flygon. I'm not attacking you, Ninjask. I'm keeping you on the field because the only thing that will scare me with the Ninjask is if you set up with Sword Stance. And you haven't done that yet, so I'm not worried about you. So you just hurt yourself. Water Pulse. This is a Mystic Water Boosted Water Pulse. Why not Ice Beam? Because I'm uh, trying to not kill it right away. Confusion? No. Dang it. So I'm saving my Ice Beams. Bye! Alright, what's your next mod? I know it's gonna be a Shadow Mod. I know you're gonna send out Marowak. Okay. I can't paralyze that thing. Fair enough. Alright, Marowak. Marrow, Marowak. Alright, so you got these last three. Let's Shadow Ball the Marowak. Actually. I'm gonna make sure I don't kill it. I'm gonna pursue the Marowak, and we're gonna body slam the Marowak to see if we can get a para. It may not be uh, able to be paralyzed normally, but ow, you crit me, you butt. I may be not get a para normally, but I can just try for a para with body slam. Ow, that does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's gonna hurt. Ha ha, you missed. <laughs> I hate that move, Shadowing, by the way, it's annoying. 
Alright, we're gonna use a uh, rep's turn to heal Larry, and then we're gonna use Body Slam again. Yeah, Larry just needed to evolve, because Larry's uh, extremely bulky now. And then we're gonna try to get a para on the Marowak. I'm not attacking Ninja Ask, you should have known this by now. <laughs> like, bruh. He's over here like, I'm gonna protect you, you're gonna attack me. I'm like, nope. Para, 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 para. Dang it. That's gonna hurt. He missed twice in a row. Bruh. Alright. I'm feeling like I'm gonna need, um, my Jolteon, so. I call Hex! Nah. I feel like I'm gonna have to use... Let's see if we can chuck an Ultra Ball at it and see what it does. Let's see what it does. The Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, go! <laughs> Fair enough. That's three shadows caught, man. Ah, oh, Lapras. Ooh, it's a Lapras. Ah, oh, it's a shadow Lapras. Oh boy. Oh boy. Aerial Ace. I'm not even worried about you, Ninjask. My bruh. This Ninjask over here is like, yeah, uh uh. <laughs> this is what you do. That is how you handle shadow moans. Um, let's pursuit and body slam. I want to see about getting this lap for weekend enough to catch it or pair it with the body slam. See, I told you I had a better strategy for it, guys. I had a better strategy for this team. I did not know he had a bunch this many shadow moans, but hey, fair enough. Yeah, the para, let's go! I see, I didn't even need to turbo. And I got para hacks, nice. Alright. And since Lapras is the last Mon, I can start working on taking out that uh, ninjask. Or not, not yet. He's afraid his ninjask gonna die. I'm just getting the Lapras weak enough that it doesn't kill itself, because I don't know if it knows Shadow End or not. Shadow End's annoying. Alright, that's fine. Shadow Sky. That's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Shadow Sky. It's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Ow. We were better prepared for it this time around, though, guys. Bruh. Why were you bruh at me? When I lose to something, I prepare for it, okay? Uh, but let's pursue the little Aphorus, just in case it had no shadow in. And we're gonna Ice Beam the Ninjas, get rid of it. Get the Ninjas off the field, finally. Cause he has no more Mons. So we don't have to worry about the double shadows with this fight. Bye. You know, if you were smart, you would have used your sword dance and then tried to take me out that way. And then you would have been forced yourself to send out the shadow mons. Uh, let's just find level 45, by the way. Pursue! Alright. Shadow Storm, okay. That's annoying, dude. Alright, so you don't have Shadow End, so you only know two Shadow moves. You have Shadow Sky and Shadow Storm, so I can... ...be annoyed. Body Slam you, and Chuck an Ultra Ball at you. So I'm gonna use Rip to Chuck an Ultra Ball. And then I'm gonna use Larry to... ...Body Slam. Oops. 
so scared of our team he's like yeah I'm gonna go on the winning side we lost totally magic salamence marowak lapras so that's four you are powerful much more than I had imagined if you aim to stop a plan then you should keep going however the grandmaster's power is probably far greater than you can imagine I doubt you'll beat the man hmm you doubt I will beat your master, eh? I don't doubt that. I like how there's a camera up up there. Yay, I'm extra VV. That might help. That's a Zatu. Anything over here? No? Oh, we didn't have to use a bunch of items either. Alright. I have enough time to fight Master Greeble with this episode, too. Because he's just uh, the first fight, I believe. Because there's no way he'd have more than the Shadow Lugia with the first fight. So... I'm probably just gonna chuck Ultra Ball at my Shadow Lugia and call it a day. Ultra Ball, I mean Master Ball. I'm just gonna chuck an Ultra Ball at Shadow Lugia and catch it first try and make Kong upset. Be like, hey, first try. Cause apparently Kong over here is calling hacks on me this whole time. Like, bruh. Alright. But after we do the Shadow Lugia, I'm gonna call it an episode because I don't want to make the episode really long. Hold on, I want to double check something real quick. Let's look at our Shadow Mon. Stop being a butt. If I call it Shadow Lugan and Ultra Ball, I'd definitely call Hex. Right? Uh, I'm not going to even attempt it because I know it can probably wipe my floor with itself. Because Shadow Lugia is going to be no joke. So they're not even close to being ready. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to check. That's what I'm gonna check. Hey you, what do you got? Okay, don't stand a chance. You can kind of all this. There's another guy here. Cool. Galar would like the battle. I didn't know there was another battle here. Nice. Ursula and Tentacruel. I didn't know that. <laughs> LOL. I didn't know that either. Uh, that's funny. Actually, I'm gonna bite. Let's try to get a flinch. Keep bolt that one. I did not know this. Hey, this is White Chick. I still have a bunch of shadows to catch, though. So. Oh, I lived on one. Why is it always living on one? They both lived on one! Bubble Beam? Okay, that's gonna tickle. So we're gonna have to heal after this battle. We're gonna have to heal after this battle. Rock Blast is gonna tickle. Ha ha! You missed. I'm just gonna double bite. Bite them both. Yeah, but this is why I explore Kong. Cause I, won't, I don't want to miss the Shadow Mons because I'm trying to catch them all. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Gotta catch him all. I was also told the last fight, the Master Greeble fight, is a really rough one. So I wanted to be prepared for him. It is tough, I bet. I heard it's a really tough fight because, um, I got spoiled that he has, uh, the shadow burbs. 
from the someone that's like, oh hey, yeah, you got shadow burbs in this game and crap. Grebel has. I'm like, thanks for spoiling it. But maybe. Like, I heard he has the shadow burbs, so. Which sucks. So I know he has three shadow Pokemon at least, for a fact. I know for a fact he has three of the Shadow Mons. So we shall see about the rest. Cause I know he has the Shadow Burbs. He has Shadow Tapus. What? Pokemon at Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon released early? What? Can you imagine how scary Shadow Tapus would be? Ah, oh, so you water pulse the wrong mon? Sure, I'm confused, but you water pulse the- that's gonna tickle. I would cry. Turbo's tanky right now. Alright, Turbo, do not hurt yourself, please. Please. Can't even rely on my Turbo. Kill the Creed Ellie. Kill it fire! Thank you. No ancient powers for you today. He's got a Geratidos! Timidates! Alright, you water pulse in my Jolteon, aren't you? Yep. That's what I thought. You know, two can play at that game. You know what Trace has? Shockwave. You know what your Gyarados is weak to? Shockwave. Well, we're gonna bite the Melodic, and we're gonna Shockwave the Gyarados. So yeah. I might end up calling this episode a shorter episode today, and then save the Shadow Lugia, because I know I'm just gonna chuck a Master Ball Shadow Lugia, so it's gonna be really short fight, so whatever fights afterwards should be able to keep it up with the next episode too, so. Bye! That is why I have Shockwave on Gardevoir. Just in case Teravo goes down. Those water flying types are annoying. Correct answers, yes. It's Citadel. Dark Isle. He disappeared! Oh, there's another guy! Alright. Let's go heal and we'll talk to that guy, because he's probably another battle. Oh wait, I don't have to make the episode even shorter than I wanted it to, so... Let's do it. He's probably another battle, just saying. If not, he might have an item. They usually have battles or items up here, so... Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Ah! And actually makes me like, what more proof do you need? How about like the situation? I never go. Yep, it's a battle. Noise. Alright, I'm gonna ask a question of the day though. Oh. Question of the day for you guys on YouTube or on Twitch if you feel like I want to answer it on Twitch. Do you think I will be able to beat Master Greeble my first attempt? Because he will be in the next episode. Will I beat him in my first attempt? Or will I go down in flames? Feel free to answer it in the comment section down below. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. I hear he's a tough fight, but I think I'll be fine. Dang, that almost one-shot the Gramble. Almost one-shot the Gramble. And that should be, I'd say two attempts. Two attempts. Is that how many times it took you to beat it, Kong? Or did you beat it your first attempt? Mill tank! We gotta get rid of that tilt. Stupid cow. Nope one. Alright. Knowing you, you didn't try to catch the legendary burps though. I'm getting rid of the cow. The moo cow. You're like, you probably got frustrated with the legendary burbs, and you're like, nah, I'm not killing them. I'm not catching these things. So yeah. I caught them, lol. All three of them? 
All three burps. You caught all the burps. And yes, I was spoiled on the burps. Someone else spoiled me on the burps. I was sad that I got spoiled on burps. Two out of three. Ah. Alright, fair enough. Let's get rid of the gramble. T bolt the Armalda. Come on, get a para. Yeah! Para hex. Para hex. I crit the first one, I was like, welp. Yeah, that's what I hate about crits. You're like, see, look, just talk about crits! Uh, that's why I'm very careful with this. It's slacking, eh? Those white eyes are just kinda scary. I'm trying to get rid of that slacking right away. Yeah, I hate crits in these games because they are so powerful. See? One shot crit! That's why I hate crits in this game. Also, my whole team's level 46 now. Uh. Because crits do double damage in this game. No, they do more than double damage. They're like a one point. I can't remember what the ratio is for Gen 3 with the crits, but crits are scary in this game. They're not double damage, they're a little over double damage. So yeah. Be gone now! We're gonna say it, we're gonna heal, save, and then we can wrap up the episode. But, yo. Yeah. And then we take on the Greeble stuff in the next episode. Gonna save. No, I said save. Shave. I'm gonna shave. We got 75 of the 83 shadow Pokemon, guys. Alright, let me do this so people don't disappear. Alright, that is where I'm gonna wrap up today's episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We beat the Salamence guy finally after all that training session that we did. We literally put five and a half hours of training in today and it paid off beforehand, so we trained five and a half hours to grind our team up. And it paid off for the Salamence dude. We're almost done with the game. We're gonna take on the Grievel stuff in the next episode, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Leave a comment in the description down below for the answer to the question of the day if you'd like to know what happens in that. And I appreciate you guys, so leave a like and subscribe for more content from me, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. For now, this is your girl, Cyclonic Wolfo, signing off. Stay safe, keep howling, and stay furious, my friends. Bye!